A Discovery of Witches returned last week for season three, and the British fantasy TV series, which stars Teresa Palmer and Matthew Good, has received generally positive reviews over its past two seasons. The show boasts a solid cast, who all have pretty solid acting backgrounds, adding to the popularity of it. Today, we are discussing the real ages and life partners of the cast of A Discovery of Witches, so stay with us. Let's jump straight in with the star of the show. Australian actress Palmer, who plays Diana Bishop on the hit show, was born 26 February 1986, meaning she is currently 35 years old. Predominantly a film actress, Palmer has appeared in a host of films, from her debut as an extra in 2005's Wolf Creek to the Point Break remake, where she played Samsara Dietz. She has appeared in more than 30 movies, so TV is something she isn't really really used to, but you would never be able to tell, as her performances are pretty great. Teresa is married to actor and director Mark Webber, not the former F1 driver, whom she started dating back in 2012 after she contacted him via Twitter. The pair were married in 2013, and this must go down as one of the first ever celebrity online dating stories. The couple have two sons and two daughters, and she is also stepmother to Weber's son from a previous marriage. That's a lot of kids, folks. What's your favorite Teresa Palmer role? Let us know below. Next up, we're talking about Matthew Good. Stay tuned. Englishman Good, who plays Matthew Claremont on the show, is a veteran of a ton of film and TV shows, having appeared in almost 30 movies and around 20 TV shows. Busy boy. Good was born 3rd April 1978 and made his career career debut in the TV movie Confessions of an Ugly Stepsister. His acclaimed role in 2011's Australian movie Burning Man put him on the radar of bigger productions, and in 2017, he went on to play Anthony Armstrong Jones, first Earl of Snowden, in the Netflix mega-hit show The Crown. Good, who still lives in England, Surrey to be precise, is married to Sophie Dymok, a marketing and sales executive for MIH Jeans. The pair married back in 2014 and have three children, two daughters and a son. Lovely. We're discussing Edward Blumel next. Stick around. Blumel was born May 22, 1993, and is currently 28 years old. The Englishman, who plays Maeve's deadbeat brother on the smash hit Netflix show Sex Education, also had a main role in the Jodie Comer led Killing Eve back in 2019. There isn't a lot known about the private life of Blue Mel, who plays Marcus Whitmore. But whilst we do know he's not married, we also know he was dating Sophie Meadows. However, there's no news as to whether the couple are still together or not. Louise Breely joins us next. Miss Breely plays Jillian Chamberlain on A Discovery of Witches, who is a witch as well as an academic. She was born 27 March 1979 in Northamptonshire, England. The actress has appeared in some staples of English TV, including Casualty, Hotel Babylon, and Law and & Order UK. Louise has also found work as a voice artist and has recently narrated a couple of books, as well as appearing on BBC Four's Lolly Willow's radio show. Back in 2015, it was known Louise was dating fellow actor Ferdinand Kingsley. However, not much is known about her current status. It is thought the couple split up due to their conflicting filming schedules, but this has not been confirmed. It appears she keeps her cards closer to her chest these days regarding boyfriends, as we couldn't find any info on her current beau. Swedish actress Malin Bushka joins us next. Malin plays Finnish witch Satu Jarvinen on A Discovery of Witches, so we wonder if she can actually speak Finnish as well as her native Swedish. Hmm. The 37-year-old grew up in the Swedish town of Overturno and studied in Malmo between 2004 and 2007. She played the lead role of Christina, Queen of Sweden, in 2015 film The Girl King, directly before joining the cast of our favorite witch show. Like a lot of her co-stars, not much is known about her marital status, but it is thought that she is currently single. Aisha Hart joins us now. Born August 8, 1990, the beautiful Aisha Hart, best known for playing DS Sam Railston in the hit 
UK crime drama Line of Duty, is currently 32 years old. On the show, she plays Miriam, a vampire and co-worker of Matthew. Hart also had a minor role in the fantasy adventure show Atlantis, which was based on Greek mythology. Hart, who was born to an Arabian father and British mother, was raised in both countries and cited her mixed-race heritage as something of a problem growing up. She has kept her private life, well, private, and not a lot is known about who she is dating or whether or not the Polar actress is single. Have you seen Aisha before? Let us know below. We're talking Owen Teal next. Stick around. Teal plays Peter Knox on our favorite witch show, a high-ranking member of the congregation. He boasts a deep career, which started back in 1985 in the BBC production Doctor Who Vengeance on Varos. Since then, he has done a ton of work on British TV, appearing in shows such as Spooks, The Thin Blue Line, and, like Hart, Line of Duty. Owen turned 60 in May of last year and is currently married to Sylvestre Lutuzel, a British television stage and film actress. Owen, who was born in Glamorgan, Wales, was previously married to Dillis Watling, but their marriage was annulled. He will be appearing in the upcoming Amazon Prime drama series The Rig, so watch out for that one. Alex Kingston is up next. Stay tuned. Kingston, who plays Diana's aunt, Sarah Bishop, on A Discovery of Witches, was born and raised in Surrey, England on 11 March 1963. In a career spanning almost four decades, Alex, like so many of our other friends on today's list, is a staple of British TV, having appeared in loads of the UK's best shows over the years, as well as some American ones. Some of her more notable roles include that of Dr. Elizabeth Corday on hit American hospital drama ER, alongside none other than George Clooney. Kingston was married to English acting royalty Ray Fiennes for two years in the early 90s, and the pair were together for more than a decade before tying the knot. Fiennes cheated on her, which resulted in the pair's divorce. She has since admitted to nearly committing suicide after her separation with Fiennes. In 1998, she met German writer and journalist Florian Hartel and remarried shortly after. The couple have a daughter together, but unfortunately, the marriage did not last, and they divorced back in 2009. She was married for a third time back in 2015 to TV producer Jonathan Stamp in a ceremony which was held in Italy. Next up, it's Valerie Pettiford, born July 8, 1960. Pettiford plays the partner of Sarah on the show, Emily Mather. Her career started back in the late 70s as a teenager, and she has appeared in a whole host of TV shows and movies. Valerie was born in Queens, NYC, and married her manager, Toadie Rader, after getting engaged over 30 years ago in 1991. Rader, a former pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies baseball team, was also an actor for a short time. Trevor Eve joins us now. Stick around! In somewhat of a rarity in show business these days, Trevor Eve has been married to his wife, Sharon Mahan, for over 40 years. The couple have three children who have become successful in the show business field in their own ways. One of his sons is the frontman in the band Two Bottle Jump, whilst his other two kids have stuck to acting and filmmaking. Trevor was born in Sutton Coldfield in the English Midlands back in 1951, which makes the Royal National Theatre actor 70 years old. Next up, we have Lindsay Duncan. Stay tuned. Lindsay plays Isabeau de Claremont, mother of Matthew Claremont, and wife of Philippe de Claremont on our favorite spooky show. The Scot was born on 7 November 1950, meaning she is 70 years old right now. In a long and varied career, Duncan has played tons of different roles. Having started her TV career in 1975, she played the home secretary in the very first episode of Charlie Brooker's hit dystopian TV show Black Mirror, and has also appeared in a plethora of other hit shows, from absolutely fabulous to the more recent mysterious thriller The Leftovers. Lindsay met her husband, fellow actor and Scott, Hilton McRae, at the Royal Shakespeare Company back in the mid-80s, and the couple have a son, Cal, who was born in 1991. She's also the proud owner of a CBE title, which she gained in 2009 for her services to drama. As always, thanks for stopping by today, guys, and why not join us next time for some more fun revelations? Also, how about sharing today's 
video with your friends on social media. You'd be doing us a big favor. Bye, guys.